Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas Eve our care and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels, in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this church glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build. And because this of all things would rejoice his heart, let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind, and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but on another shore and in a greater light. That multitude no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom, in this Lord Jesus, we forevermore are one. We join in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
God in the Garden of Eden. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called out to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman who you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Thanks be to God. prophet Isaiah tells of the coming of Christ. Those who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders. And he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God.
The angel Gabriel visits Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. St. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver the child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Thanks be to God.
Shepherds hear the song of the angels. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in, in bands of cloth and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Thanks be to God.
the wise men are led by a star to Jesus. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thanks be to God.
St. John unfolds the mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
Let us pray. O God, who sent your Son, Jesus, to be the light that shines in the darkness, we pray your light will shine on us and all our families this Christmas time. Keep safe those who gather and celebrate. Watch over those who stay apart to keep safe. Bless the lonely. Bless those in hospital. Bless those together with their families in all times of joy and celebration. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty God, turn back, we pray, the spread of COVID-19 and have mercy upon your people in the face of the medical, social, economic, and political effects of this disease. Bless and heal those who suffer and bring them safely through their illness. Give to those who are infected courage and wisdom to protect those around them and grace and trust to ask for help and prayer. Prosper the work of all those involved in the prevention, treatment and cure of this disease and give our government wisdom and good counsel to make the best possible decisions for the well-being of all your people. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. O Lord God, whose Son, our Saviour Christ, was given as a gift for us at Christmas time, we give you thanks for the gifts and blessings that you have poured out upon us, for the blessings of this term and all the good things that have happened in it, for the gifts we will receive this Christmas time. Open our eyes to the generosity you have for us, the generosity we have for one another, that we may know all the good things we have to celebrate and rejoice in them in your name. Amen. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours when Christmas comes. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.